Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we watch as Elmo make a fool out of himself at the Saipan post office. So you know what that means? I get to pull out that meme I created just for him and been using it every time I do a post office fraud it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, folks? Auditing America from Saipan. We're in Saipan, all the way on the other side of the world, where the United States Post Office doing what we do all the time. We're going to do a First Amendment audit. We're going to see if they respect our First Amendment right to video record in a public place. We're going to see if they respect Poster 7, which should be posted on the wall. For news and advertisement purposes, we're allowed to video record here. And there it is. All right, Ass Elmo, I know you're not going to read it, and you don't expect your subscribers to listen to it either. But I created this meme just for you and this situation because you actually did read it at one point. But you didn't read it in its entirety, and you didn't understand it. So, here's that little meme I created for you. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited, okay? It's not pro prohibited here. There are a number of things you glossed over in that you didn't even complete the whole damn paragraph, and what you did read, you glossed over. The most important part that you did read, but totally ignored, was the part when used for public meetings. And there are no public meetings going on right there. So you don't have the authorization to do that without the installation head, which covers the last half of the paragraph you did not read. I will read the last part of the paragraph for you then. Prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. Aselmo, you need to learn some reading comprehension. But of course, I know this isn't uh, about reading comprehension anyway. It's about lying to your audience. And you trying to make yourself feel so superior to everybody else. When you are nothing more than a bottom-feeding maggot. But please, do carry on with your moronic, fruitless endeavor. How are you today? Hmm? Are you guys uh, postal police? Uh, we're customs. Cinema customs. Are you guys working here? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And your name? Uh, Richard. Richard, nice to meet you. And you, brother? What's your name? Damon. I'm sorry? Damon. All right. And what's your... Um, What's your duties, your daily duties here? You just inspect for the government for business. Oh, okay. You, like, you, like you search for drugs and stuff like that? Oh. And also for, mainly for excise tax, yeah. for business. Okay, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys. Hey, look, dude, I know this is totally alien to you because I don't think you've ever been employed, but these two men are actually gainfully employed they've got a job to do so stop bothering them and let them get about their day <clears throat> i'm sorry why not because this, um, you know, this is, our policy. Is, this a, is this a new rule? You can ask permission first. Let me refer you to a postmaster. 
I've already I've already looked at the rules. It's on the wall. Let me refer to that. It's right there on the wall. Okay, just hold it. All right. Cool. Do you guys are do you guys work here? No. Well, you do. The rules are on the wall. Yeah, that's the rules. Yeah, well, it says that you can. That's the federal. Just gonna show the post. Okay. Okay. Local, local customs. You're not federal. No. But you're on federal. You're working on federal property. Yeah, we have a. Poster sevens right there on the wall. It's a good thing. Now we can read. Well, I know you can read, but there's another side to reading. It's called comprehension, and you lack that in spades. Making a movie, man? Something like that. Something like that? What is it like? Is it a... Positive movie or? Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. We, I wouldn't waste my time doing something that's not constructive or educational. Okay, awesome. Huh? Bring light, then why not? It sure will, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being humble and professional that's what we're that's what we're looking for we're we're trying to see i'm gonna tell you straight up there's there's thousands watching you right now through this iphone and we have uh this is the u.s post office it's a federal federal facility we have the first amendment which is a federal uh federally protected uh right by the u.s constitution the United States Post Office should respect uh, the First Amendment here more than anywhere else, you know, because this is a federal place. Also, the rules are on the wall. So I go, I go to buildings all over the United States, including its territories, to see if our rights are being protected. Not to cause any trouble or anything, but to see if we are given any wrong information, like this gentleman did. You can, you can, ask, uh, you can ask permission first from the customer sir, and they allow Well, that's the thing, sir. We're in America. We, we don't, if, if, imagine if recording was illegal in a public place. As long as they are both, then. Well, that's, that's the thing, sir. I'm trying to explain to them why I'm here, uh -huh. but they don't have to approve. They, this is a free country. Uh -huh. You're involving them. I'm actually here to film you, sir. Um, you say you're there to record the officials and officers, but you're catching more of the civilians than you are of them. The rules are on the wall. I'm not trying to be rude in any way, but there's thousands watching you, sir. I didn't come here from Florida just to just to uh, do something that I'm not supposed to be doing. It's just that, you know, uh, some customers might not be comfortable. Well, I, I understand that, but that's what... Well, that's that. Here's the deal. You you don't tell me what to do, ma'am. That's exactly my point. But the whole get out of here thing. You work for us. You have to treat us with respect. That's a, that's one main thing here in Saipan and in Guam and people from the Marianas. It's all bro, about respect, bro, right? Bro, we're not trying to hear all that, man. Well, that, well, 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 well. I I do whatever I want, sir. I'm not here to just yeah, disrespect you. you. Want, just record, get out, dude. I'm not here. No, you guys don't tell me. You don't shit. tell me what to do, sir. Okay. With all due respect. That's fine. This is America. Imagine you want to live in a place with no cameras? Go to North Korea. Well, well, sir, you may leave America then. This is America. This is all. Where are we at? The United States Post Office. Sir, you don't even know where you're at. This is the United States. This is the United States. We're free here, you know? You want to go place with no cameras? Go to North Korea. You'll fit perfectly fine over there. You see, that's why, that's why I do what I do. Because people don't know that I have the right to be here. I have the right to video record the... Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Government and document. Remember, we're bringing light what you said, sir. The rules are on the wall, but people just don't know. 
and there's a shortage of these videos on the internet. So now, when thousands and thousands watch this video, and it's shared all over the world, you'll learn that you have no expectation of privacy in a public place. Now, if I'm at Walmart or in a private business and they tell you stop video recording, then I have to stop video recording because I'm in a private property. But this is US property. This is financed by you, by you, by purchasing stamps and all that. This lady, I could tell she came straight from the States because she's the only one that was rude. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell you're like from Detroit or something. <laughs> Where are you from, ma'am? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. 5161. Shout outs to the people from Detroit, by the way. There's a lot of really good people there. Oh, you get your package, then you have to give it to him. That's a weird process. Don't, 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 don't touch me. Don't you ever touch me again, all right? Keep your hands to yourself. Why are you touching me, bro? Why are you touching me? Why are you touching me, bro? Sir, we're going to ask you to leave now. No. If you're just going to create a, a disturbance... Oh, a dis no, 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 no. You now you're me. accusing me of something I'm not. He just put his hands on me and I can't say anything? You're creating a disturbance. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. I am I'm doing my job. <laughs> you're interfering with my job, actually. You have no purpose there and you have no job to do there. In fact, Poster 7 has regulation on that, too. <laughs> He just put his hands on me and I'm creating a disturbance. Yeah. Yeah. You see, that's what that's why that's why Mr. America does what he does. That's why we have over hundred million views on the internet. Argumentum ad populum, dude. Just because you got that hundred million views doesn't mean it's the correct answer. In fact, how wonder how many of those views are those that don't like you? You know what that is? 100 million views on the internet? Not 1 million, 2 million, not 10 or 20 or 50. Over 100 million views on the internet because people don't know how to conduct themselves. People don't know how to respect other people. You respect, you're a very respectful person, so is everybody else here, except the lady from Detroit. That's where they go with disturbance. Oh, you're you're making people. This is this is the other line they love to throw. You're making people feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like you know, like my feelings have anything to do with you. The only feelings I have to uh, protect is my family's feelings. So, sir, this for your safety or my safety? Their safety. Okay. You cannot view video their packages because that's their privacy. Well, or sir. Let me let me tell you something. I am I am allowed by the postmaster to writing to video record anything that I can see in in the in the lobby area. And well, that's their privacy in the box. Well, they have to they have they can't. Yeah, you're right, but they have to create privacy if they want to if they want pri there's no expectation of privacy in public. I'm not here focusing on their packages, bro. Nobody if you video it that makes it a yes, but I'm not, I would not, um, there's also policies that I have to follow, so I would not disclose anyone's information on the internet. No. Bullshit! Bullshit! What the hell are you talking about, dude? You make all this bullshit up on the fly anyway. You have no policies. All you ever do is lie. No, I know, but... Like, there's nothing, like, even if I was trying to film that right now, there's nothing anyone can do, sir, because we have the right to video record here. This is not a restricted area. Wow. So many lies in that statement. It would be, take me a forever to unpack, but I've already unpacked the first part of that about Poster 7. They can kick you out. It's in their policy, too. 
But right now, they're just too busy laughing at you to do anything about it. But you see, all it takes is for somebody to pull out a camera and then there's, then there's one employee that created the disturbance among, among the customers. Then you have customers swearing and stuff because of what he said. So that's, that's, why, that's why I do what I do, sir. We want to educate people. We want to let thousands, millions uh, know about our rights here in America. Maybe, maybe other countries can adopt a similar constitution and give more freedoms to other people, sir. And this guy says, we're not in America. This is Saipan. <laughs> can you believe that? This guy didn't even know where he's at. Saipan is America. Saipan is the United States. 100%. Everybody that's born in Saipan gets a blue passport. You get a blue passport if you're born in Saipan. The, the pass, the, somebody born in Saipan doesn't say Saipan passport. Do they get a Saipan passport? Nope. And th I think this is the place where you apply for a passport, actually. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you can apply at the post office. Yeah. Oh, yes. Guaranteed. Maybe not in Saipan. I mean, you guys have ru weird rules. Like in, in, the, in the States, you would never see customs at the post office double checking people's packages. That just doesn't happen. It's only here. Not even in Puerto Rico. And Puerto Rico is a, an island, U.S. territory, just like this one. That's where I'm from. <laughs> Well, okay, that's enough of listing that idiot for one day. I mean, that dude is a special kind of idiot.